Uh, good morning, viewers. I, as IPS officers in Jammu and Kashmir, the last two, three years, they have been kept on sidelines, especially when plum postings were concerned, or for that matter, their postings. Number of IPS officers in Jammu and Kashmir who should have been district SSPs by now. They have been kept at lower places and few KPS officers, they were promoted or in fact, uh, they were given the districts. Similarly, if we talk about the civil administration, we have seen the KS officers, they are getting districts and by the term district, I mean they are district magistrates in Jammu and Kashmir and whereas uh, the IS officers, they have been kept or they have been placed for that matter at the postings which are not considered important. This has been the case throughout the last three, four years of PDP, VJP government in Jammu and Kashmir, where the hard working officers, they could not get postings and they were kept on sidelines. And those who were loyalists, they were given the postings. And it is not a hidden fact. You look around the districts in Jammu, you look around districts in Kashmir, you will see the number of such cases. Only in the last three, four months, uh, uh, the deservings were given the postings. When the situation deteriorated, when it became difficult uh, to manage the situation, then only the hardworking officers, they were given the postings. In addition to that, we have seen the additional charge system. Somebody who, who stands at a lower rank, has been given the charge of higher postings and those officials or those officers for that matter who belong to that particular category they have been attached they have been kept attached or they have been given postings of uh, where they cannot show their caliber or which means nothing substantial so the situation will change with the change in the government with the change in the guard you no know, we have governor anand bora who will be the, who will be ruling the state in three for three months at least he has set the tempo and that can be seen on the day number one. On day number one, he made various changes. We got new chief secretary, we got advisors to governor. Obviously, he posted the, the chief secretary of Jammu and Kashmir as one of his advisors. Now, the situation will have new permutations, combinations, and the information that Cross on is having at the moment. JNK governor very soon is planning to have a complete revamp in the or in the at police as well as the civil administration, which means that those loyalists who were getting, even if, if, if earlier on I talked about district, it does not mean that it only happened in district. If you move a little higher, if you go to the top positions, uh, all in police especially, and then also in the civil administration, we have seen those, uh, those officers taking the charge of important posts who do not belong to that category. This has been the case. Whatever the issues have been behind that, how th these postings have been managed, you know, that is the past. Future will change and we'll see soon uh, the difference in the opinion, the difference in the approach and, dif and the difference in the thought process of posting the right man in the right, po uh, right position. The information that Cross No News is having very soon will have a reshuffle in the, uh, in the top and middle rank officials, both in police and a civil administration where main information is coming that at least seven to eight commissioner secretaries they could be shifted from one place to another so this is big news that is coming to cross the news at the moment that around seven to eight commissioner secretaries they can be shifted at this moment from one place to another so the those who, who were deserving right there's no hidden fact that even two three four commissioners at the commissioner secretaries at the moment who are hard working and they are placed at the right position but barring them, we have seen that loyalists, they were given the important posting and those who had the caliber, they were made to sit on the sidelines just for the reason they were not into the category of yes boss and which uh, did not go well with the, city, uh, with the ministers in the PDP and BJP design. And we have seen that also at least three officers of IS of senior IS officers of JNK cadre, they were shifted at least four times in a year. This is not the way uh, the senior ICE officer should have been treated and which created a kind of negative approach. And we have seen that number of ICE officers that do not want to come back to the state 
they try to move out of the state and sit uh, in the center. But now the situation will change. The, the IS officers who are sitting in the center, requisition will be made for them. This is another information Crosstown is having at the moment. Governor will soon send requisition letter for all the IS officers of Jammu and Kashmir who are sitting up in center, who are posted in center and were reluctant to come back to the state, but soon they will be coming back to the state. Uh, to the, state. Uh, the information that we have is that governor had talked had talked to the top uh, ministers in the center and they have assured him of sending back the ICE officer because this will also give the pool of ICE officers from which uh, the governor can choose and put the right man in the right perspective as he thinks of. As far as police administration is concerned, the information coming is that uh, in the top and top level, we can see a massive reshuffle. We can see massive reshuffle in the top police administration of Jammu and Kashmir, where governor will look into the records, working of the top police officers, and will accordingly place the place the officers because uh, the, the the new chief secretary is expert in home matters, so he will be keenly looking into the police of uh, police. Uh, administration also so this will be very interesting to see in next coming days that how governor and his chief secretary bb subramaniam who is also expert in handling the tough situation he, he has been quite much responsible or he played a key role in handling the next lights in chhattisgarh so he is expert in that so this is big news he will be taking care of few affairs in the home department so he'll be keenly looking into that which officer is fit for which position we have seen that loyal loyalists they were getting top positions now the situation will change it will be all about performance perform or you can move out or are, you, are the statement which means perform or you can perish so it'll be interesting to see how things will go in next few days another big information that is coming right now is that governor will put most of the is officers as the district collectors district development commission for uh, district development Commission for that matter. So in Jammu and Kashmir, we'll see in next few days whenever the massive reshuffle happens, most of the DCs in the train in the districts of Jammu and Kashmir will be ICE officers. So this this is the information that Crosstown is having at the moment. Similarly, most of the district SSPs in Jammu and Kashmir will be IPS officers. So this uh, will bring a new aura, the new faces into the structure. We'll get more transparency, accountability into the system. Earlier on, loyalists, they were getting the post, whatever means they were using to get this post, that's a separate criteria. But yes, now things will change. You will see IS officers and IPS officers getting the plum postings. You will see IS officers and IPS officers getting the post at district level. So district magistrate and district SSPs. Most of the IS or IPS officers were given a uh, haywire off kind of posting they will be getting into the center zone or they will be getting districts at, as ssps and and districts as dcs and in addition to that few top positions which uh, were uh, taken being taken care of officers who have been charged sheeted our sanctions have been granted against them in last three four years we have a couple of ice officers also in that list against whom sanctions have been granted but no actions have been taken so governor has called in yesterday meeting his called report and he, uh, he and, and he has seek detailed details of all those is officers ks officers ips and kps officers against whom sanctions have been granted and no actions have been taken yet so this is another big news which means that governor will go tough against all those who have been acting as corrupt uh, nexus and those who have been taking part in, in the corrupt nexus they will be uh, shown the door very soon and he has also asked um, all the officers to give APRs on time because this uh, this is a word coming across that most of the senior officers they keep their juniors at bay whenever they ask them to fill their APRs. In addition to that another big information that will be of thinking about is that he has seek detail of officers who have not bothered to file annual property statements there are many in jammu and kashmir who do not bother to file annual property statements so this will get the system more accountable more transparent and all those officers who are taking system likely will soon face the access in one term or another Keep following Crosstown News for more updates. We'll be coming back uh, on more from the Governor House to by today evening. Thank you.